Okay, now we are joined by Hamish Dodd and Jeff Peck from Peck's Plumbing Plus to talk all things vanities. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. Okay, so Jeff, I'm going to kick things off here. What's the most important thing people should think about when they're going out shopping for a vanity? What's what's important to them within that space? What it's actually being used for? Uh, the main bathrooms are obviously typically used for the likes of kids, so it needs to be hard wearing, still modern looking, but be able to deal with plenty of water. Whereas the en suite to uh, uh, for the homeowners, which tends to be a bit more luxury involved and, and a bit more about them and what they're looking for. Okay, so those are obviously the things that you need to take into consideration when you're weighing up which bathroom you're doing in your house. Mm, definitely, yeah. Okay, what type of vanities have we got? The two main types are floor standing and, and wall hung. So they would be the two, two typical ones you'd, you'd, you'd choose as a first off. Uh, then you go into customised units as well. Well, that looks nice. I like that. Mm. Yeah, and it allows you to put some space under them as well, you know. Yeah, well, it makes it easier to, for them to clean. It also gives the illusion of more space. With newer homes, uh, typically the bathrooms are getting smaller, smaller. particularly yeah. apartments are mm. notorious for it. Um, so having wall-hung units are a great way of a, this creating an illusion of space. So uh, four-mounted vanities, can we all remember what those were? <laughs> back in the day. Back, back yeah. in the day, but I mean, they, they still have their purpose, are we still seeing them around? Oh absolutely, yeah, yeah, they play an important part, particularly in renovations where you've got existing pipe work and you, sometimes it's just not practical to shift stuff around um, or it's just too expensive mm. to do it, so that's where floor-mounted floor, van, uh, floor vanities are, are still an important part of the bathroom. You get a bit more storage yeah. out of them too, don't you? Exactly. Yeah, You've absolutely. Got a lot of stuff in there, can't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. So what are the trends that we're seeing with vanities? Uh, trend, trends under, uh, under cabinet lighting with sensors, so oh, like yeah. at, at night or early in the morning when you're getting up, it uh, turns the lights on when you mm. walk in, and it's not a really bright light, so you're not sort of feeling blinded. Startled. Well, so yeah. you, you <laughs> don't look in the middle of the night. Exactly. You don't have to yeah. turn on lights, you can stay in that half work state. Correct. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. That, that's becoming more popular. Slimmer vanities, like I mentioned before about space, is, is important. Storage, smart storage with uh, different sort of bins and things like that inside tall cabinets and, and within the vanity units as well. What sort yeah. of storage? Oh, things for bins, inner drawers for, for makeup and stuff like that. It's so almost like kitchens. So you can get so. different like a, inners. Yeah. Like a yeah. cutlery drawer, but in your kitchen. Oh, that yeah. sounds... Yeah. <gasps> and what, what, what sort of other technologies have they managed to, to put in? Because vanities have been around for a very long time, so clearly we've worked out what works and what doesn't. Is there any other technology that oh, so used? Lighting is, is a big thing at the moment, but soft drawer yeah. uh, closing technology is big touch as well rather than having handles so it's more of a, uh, a sleeker look to, yeah. to the units as well. And less things to bump yourself on. You're, you're talking to a woman who's got her stuff in her kit in her bathroom in plastic, you know those plastic drawers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm very impressed with that. That's why I was signing before, yeah. having oh. all that storage and all those things and those special little drawers is, is incredible. Well, yes. we know yeah. we, we, we need to send you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about finishes? What sort of finishes are we talking about? Uh, we've seen some great ones there. Um, we're finding uh, the dark stains or the dark wood grains are sort of being replaced with uh, more of a natural sort of looking wood grain yeah. um, and lighter too, uh, lighter colours in the, in the wood grains as, as well. But wood grain's still a thing then obviously? Oh absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I think people are moving towards a more of a, a natural oh, there's a, look. There's my yeah. bathroom again. What about vanities, um, you know, and, and the, the basins on top, how are they changing? Uh, becoming them. more popular, uh, there is a shift back to basins. Yep. Um, I think it has a lot of elegance, adds elegance to, to the bathroom. And, and, As opposed and to what? You're talking about the ones well, that are just the built, in. built in and yeah. stuff like that. So it adds a bit more sophistication to it. Um, they're becoming a lot more thinner, so the technology of making those basins has improved a lot as well. So it's not the old big old clunky basins we're used to sort of seeing in days gone Do by. Do we still see the ones that have no room, like the, you know, the really big ones that have no room to put your toothbrushes <laughs> around the side? <laughs> uh, that now. They, they are in the picture now, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they are still popular with some people, but people are going more to bigger size vanities if they can. Practicality. With, with individual bowls, yeah. So more of a his and hers sort of look. That one's fancy. Isn't it? That's pretty fancy. I wouldn't yeah. be allowed to use that. There'd be toothpaste <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're very popular. That, um, 
obviously requires a certain space to be able to make it work. But yeah. Oh, and that's sometimes elegant. sometimes Jeff, I go to bars and they have really fancy basins and they're just like a slab of concrete or whatever, and they just yeah. kind of tilt down. Are they still cool? Oh, they they used a bit in powder rooms, not so much <laughs> right. in, in an actual bathroom. Yeah, the kids would flood that in a minute. Yeah. 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 Cars down. <laughs> so you can cars mistake down. it for a urinal. <laughs> um, so yeah. Very very quickly, um, what if you want to customise your look? Is there much involved with that, or can you still do that? Um, you can go to a cabinet maker and get something specific, but a lot of the mainstream suppliers now are offering interchangeable panels and stuff, so you wow. can uh, interchange things, at, you know, because colours change. Um, and it's a good range of widths, though, too, now. Yeah, like absolutely. It's, it's, yeah. You're not stuck with a couple of sizes. That's, that's right. But cha interchangeable panels is becoming a, a, a big thing, and two tones as well, so different colour on the side to the different colour cool. on the front. Brilliant, mm. gentlemen. Lots of choice out there. Lots okay, now you need to go shopping, okay? <laughs> yeah, and you know where you go, don't you? For more details on any of these vanities and basins that we've talked about today, you can pop into one of Jeff's stores or go to his website, pex.co.nz. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks guys. Awesome. Yeah.